Hey friends, this is Krista Alicia, and I just wanted to hop on here today to give you a quick word of encouragement. You know, uh, it seems like the atmosphere around this time of year before Halloween is like super thick with crazy warfare, and the Lord just wants to bless you and encourage you today. And so today, um, I, well, not just today, but for a while now, I have been meditating on the armor of God uh, that's mentioned in Ephesians. And specifically, uh, I went into a vision and in the vision I had on, I could see specifically the helmet of truth and I could see the breastplate of righteousness and I had the sword of the spirit in my hand. And those were the three pieces of armor that were really highlighted to me in this vision. Um, and I was standing on a dragon that I had just defeated. And uh, I asked the Lord, why was it that I was wearing the breastplate of righteousness? What exactly did the breastplate mean prophetically? And why is it that we needed it? And why is it the breastplate of righteousness? Well, righteousness really just means to be in right standing with God. It also means to have the same morals, character, and values as God because you are in right standing with him, that he is Lord over your life, and you are under subjection to his ways and his rules, right? And that is because that's how we were created to live. And it's a good thing. It is It is to be of the utmost um, integrity in our moral standards. It means standing for the right thing, standing for justice and for goodness and, um, and, and for holiness, right? And, and hating evil. So obviously we need that, but I was like, Lord, well, why is it over my chest? Why do we have to have the breastplate of righteousness? And the father spoke to me and he said, well, it's to protect your heart from lies. And I said, what do you mean to protect my heart from lies? And he said, Krista, I have placed memory inside the heart of every individual. And I was thinking about it and I know that other times when I have meditated on the helmet of truth, that the helmet of truth actually protects our thoughts and our minds from lies from the enemy. And it made total sense to me when a, a soldier is in battle, you know, and your uh, people are firing bows and arrows at you, the breastplate is what would protect your heart and your vital organs in your chest. And I said, well, Lord, why do I need to protect my heart uh, and the memories of my heart? And he said, because Krista, when you know uh, that you are in right standing with me, then it doesn't matter where you stand before men. And I was just flooded with this wave of emotion because, you know, if you have ever experienced spiritual warfare, a lot of time, the spiritual warfare that we experience, it doesn't come from, you know, the atmosphere around us. It actually comes from the people that are around us, or it'll come from the enemy planting things inside of our heads or inside of our hearts. And the our heart does have memory. You know, when we remember the times that people have spoken bad about us or, you know, uh, maybe we've been falsely accused of something or, you know, we've been let down or disappointed, our heart holds those memories. And, you know, God is, he's a God who's very concerned about our hearts. And he came to heal the brokenhearted and to bind their wounds. And in his children, He's especially concerned about the condition of our hearts because from the heart flow the issues of life and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And wherever we have a wound, that wound can actually, if it's not taken care of and it's not healed, it can become an open door for the enemy to move through um, and to, to occupy our lives in one area or another. So we constantly have to be looking out for the condition of our hearts. 
And I just felt um, as the Lord was sharing this with me that, you know, we are the type of warfare that we have been experiencing a lot in this season has been from wounding words from our friends and from people around us, people that we love, our brothers and sisters in Christ. And, you know, there's a real enemy that is after our relationships that comes to sow discord and to cause strife and, and to bring division. And the reason why the enemy does that is because he wants to completely destroy unity in the body of Christ because he knows that where there is unity, God commands the blessing. He knows that Jesus prays in John 17 that we would be known by the way that we are one with each other the same way that he is one with his father right that we would be one and that we would be known for our unity and for our love for one another and he wants to shut down the revival that is literally being birthed in this season right now and um so god is just speaking to his kids today about uh, putting on the breastplate of righteousness so that you know that your heart is innocent before the Lord. And not only is your heart innocent, but God is the defender of your heart. He cares about the things that you care about. He remembers every time that you have been hurt, every time that there has been slander against you, every time there's been gossip against you, every time that there has been a false accusation, he remembers it. And he is a God who comes to vindicate his innocent children. Okay. He comes to vindicate them. He is the righteous judge. He says, vengeance is mine. And so we don't have to try to uh, defend ourselves. We don't have to try to prove our innocence. The Bible is really, really clear. It even says in Psalm seven that he, that, that God himself will publicly restore our integrity and our honor. And before all the people, he will declare us innocent. He always prospers the cause of the righteous because he is the righteous God, the soul searcher who looks deep into every heart to examine the thoughts and the motives. And in verse 10, it says, God, your wraparound presence is my protection and my defense. You bring victory to all who reach out for you. And so, guys, I just want to bless you with this today, that God is the defender of your heart, that if you are in a place where, you know, the you've had people attack you and accuse you and slander you and gossip you, you are free from having to defend yourself for defending yourself because God will be your defender. He will vindicate you and he will publicly prove your innocence before all the people and um, just lean into him, lean into the truth of who he says you are in this season and know that um, each day uh, he is fighting your battles for you. He deems you innocent through the precious blood of Jesus. And, you know, if you are watching this and, and maybe, you know, you have fallen prey to the biting words of um, some people around you that the enemy is actually using, because it's, it's not the people, it's actually the enemy putting his thoughts and his, his intentions into that person to to attack them and your relationship. But you know, we're, none of us are perfect. And sometimes we, we slip up and, and we say things and, and we try to take the place of God as our vindicator and as our judge and as our defender. And if that is you, I just want to encourage you, you know, the blood of Jesus covers it all. And just ask Jesus to come and to cleanse your heart, to forgive you, to wash all that away. And um, I even see some of you guys, like I just see the father coming and he is just pulling out arrows of accusation, right? And it's so important. He wants you to know that through the blood of Jesus, he looks at you as though you are an innocent child. And not only that, but he is, um, he wants to protect you and defend you.
So because you are in right standing with him through the blood of Jesus. And so I just pray, guys, that uh, as you watch this, that you would take what I'm saying, that you would take the word of God and his encouragement to heart, that um, he loves you, that he is going to protect your heart from lies, that he came to heal the brokenhearted and to bind our wounds. Amen. That, um, yeah, that, that you are in right standing with him. And so if you are in right standing with him, it doesn't matter where you stand before men because God will always show up on time and he will publicly declare your innocence before the people because he is the God who looks upon the heart. Amen. And so if your heart is pure and your heart is innocent, then he will be the one that will prove that and you don't have to do that. So I just bless you with that. Um, and Father, I just break off all witchcraft, all slander, all gossip, every word curse that has tried to come against my friends, Lord. Um, I just render each of those things null and void right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I just ask that you would rise up as the righteous judge and you would defend us, Father, that you would um, decree justice against our foes, not flesh and blood, because we don't uh, war against flesh and blood, but God, that you would fight against our our foes that are spiritual enemies, God, and that you would take vengeance out on them. Lord, I just thank you that you are uh, for us. And if you are for us, then who can be against us? And Lord, I thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against us you shall condemn lord i even decree that uh every undeserved curse like a bird will float over our head it'll fly over our head and it will find no place to land on us that we have been redeemed from the curse from the by the precious blood of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you and we thank you and we thank you and we praise your holy name for your goodness and your righteousness, God. Help us to look like you and help us to stand in your truth. And Father, most of all, um, teach us this week how to put on the breastplate of righteousness so that when, you know, people around us and the enemy is trying to attack our heart, Lord, that we can stand firm and knowing that we are in right standing with you. In Jesus name, amen and amen. All right, guys, I love you. If this encouraged you, please share it with your friends. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel uh, so that you will get more updates on encouraging words like this and every time I go live. Okay, bless you all and I will see you next time.